Good evening and thanks for joining us on Today Tonight. A former TV star is back on our screens tonight with a story that's amazed doctors and will give hope to many Australians. Ken James, best known for his role in Skippy, has lymphoma, one of the most common cancers that kills Australians. But as Claire Brady reports, Ken seems to be winning the battle and his remission gives fresh hope to thousands of sufferers. When I was first diagnosed, I thought, wow, the big C, cancer. Ken has what is known as a non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Through Skippy and other television series, Ken James made himself comfortable in our lounge rooms for 50 years. He had that steady nature, that wide smile we'd grown to know. But unbeknownst to Ken, cancer was in the wings. Ken James has every reason to be reflective, but to him, it's a waste of time. You could even get married under here. <laughs> yes, it'd be nice, nice in the, in the park. <laughs> See, I can push this point, can't I? Now that you've survived cancer. Yes. Love, life and laughter are now the only things on his mind after this veteran entertainer did a dance with death. His blood test confirmed what deep down he already knew that something in his body was dreadfully wrong. He was told he had cancer, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, and he wasn't alone. 5,000 Australians are diagnosed each year with lymphoma, so that is approximately one person every two hours. Ken's oncologist, Dr Max Wolfe, delivered the harsh news to the timeless on-screen star. He has what is called a follicular lymphoma, uh, which is a cancer of the lymph glands. Ken was determined to use anything, absolutely anything, that would work. Mabthera was the drug of choice for Ken's non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. It's a relative newcomer on the cancer drug market. It offers hope, and hope spells time in the dark world of the disease. It's chemotherapy, mm. but it's not like normal chemo. With normal chemo, as they explained to me, it's like a shotgun. It hits everything, everything in your body. That's why a lot of people get sick, react to it. With Mabthera, the one I was on, it just uh, uh, goes to the, the, the glands. It goes gone. to the target. It targets that area. Yeah. Ken's first session lasted seven hours. After that, four shorter treatments on the drug. As Sharon Millman, an expert from Lymphoma Australia, puts it, Ken's disease was dire. Currently about 1,500 Australians will die from lymphoma each year, which is more than what we are currently losing to skin cancer. Ken's self-observations triggered his immediate concerns. Well, originally I was having a shave and I found the lump there, a, a lump, and I thought this doesn't seem right. So cancer had come after him too. Yet again that signature whistle had become a curse to its cast. That theme song had lilted through Australian homes in the 70s. Its fresh face stars, pictures of health. But cancer has dogged many of its actors. That's all right, Clancy. I'm just trying to work out the best place to put it. Ed Devereaux lost his battle eight years ago. Liz Goddard beat breast cancer. And Tony Bonner, the helicopter pilot in the show, had a stoush with prostate cancer. The word cancer is now almost rolling in the credits alongside the names. Ken was at stage four of his cancer. It was in his bones. I wasn't going to let it beat me. It's important to, to keep a positive mental attitude. So put one there, girl. Come on, put one there. Thank you. That's okay. I deserve a kiss on the cheek. A combination of treatment and the power of positive thinking has given Ken a second chance. All the lumps have gone, Ken. Wonderful. My doctor calls it maintenance. I feel like a car. I've got to go back every three months. And he's basically going to check me every three months. But the good news is I'm in remission. Was there a time at late at night or by yourself anywhere you thought, oh, this might not go the way I think? Oh, of course. Of course. You, you know, I'm a human being. Mm. Everyone thinks of the, the possibilities. But I wouldn't allow it to take over my psyche. His longtime partner, Rosemary Stulinar, is equally relieved and by his side every step of the way. They've been engaged for eight years. Now, with a new lease on life, you just don't know what's on Ken's horizon. You don't take things for granted. And that's important. Don't take life for granted. I'm in remission. At the moment, things are looking good. Yeah, you feel good? I feel great. Yeah, wish you all the best, Ken. We'll keep track of Ken's progress for you. Well, it seems that.